Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my huge channel. Today I'm gonna do a master copy, so if you'd like to join me and see the whole process, then keep on watching. First I'm deciding what colors I will be using and looking at this painting I see a lot of purples, browns, especially warm browns, muted greens and yellows. So that's my palette and I think he uses this purple to outline or as a underpainting color so I prepared a lot of it. So now I'm just applying colors in the right places and uh, I want to apply them to the entire page so that I don't see white spaces anymore. It will be much easier for me to work on it later on when it's all covered in paint. I know it doesn't look the best right now, but I will apply much more details later on so it will look much better. Now I will tell you more about the painting and the painter himself because the painting has really interesting history so it will be nice to talk about it. The Carte Playes is a series of oil paintings by the French postmodernist artist Paul Cézanne. Painted during Cézanne's final period in the 1890s, there are five paintings in the series. The versions vary in size, the number of players and the setting in which the game takes place. Cézanne also completed numerous drawings and studies in preparation for the Card Players series. One of the versions of the Card Players was sold in 2011 to the royal family of Qatar for a price estimated at $250 million, signifying a new mark for highest ever price for a painting. I mean, it's a bargain. The series is considered by critics to be a cornerstone of Cézanne's art during the early to mid 1890s period as well as prologue to his final years, when he painted some of his most acclaimed work. The subject all male are displayed as studies within the card playing, eyes cast downward intent on the game at hand. Cézanne adapted a motif from 17th century Dutch and French genre painting. Cézanne's portraits have been noted for their lack of drama, narrative and conventional characterization. The models for the painting were local farmhands, some of whom worked on the season's family estate. Each scene is depicted as one of quiet, still concentration. The men look down on their cards rather than on each other, with the cards being perhaps their sole means of communication outside of work. One critic described the scene as human still life. While there are in total five paintings of card players by Cézanne, the final three works are similar in composition and number of players, causing them to sometimes be grouped together as one version. The largest version of painting is the most complex one, with five figures on the canvas. It features three card players in the forefront seated in a semicircle at the table, with two spectators behind. A more condensed version of this painting with four figures, long thought to be the second version of the card players, is in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. Here the composition remains visually the same, minus the boy, 
we viewers' perspective slightly closer to the game, but with less space between the figures. In the previous painting, the center players as well as the boy were hatless. The rest, this version has all the men hatted. Well, since we know something about this painting, I will comment on what is going on with my copy. As you can see, I painted the face of the guy on the left. Uh, I think it turned out really good. I will. I made some mistakes, but I will adjust them later on. And you can see when I moved to the jacket, I made a quite big mistake. The proportions aren't right, but I was working on this painting for so many hours that I really didn't see the, my mistakes. But later on, when I came back to this the next day, uh, I I corrected straight away. So now it's all good. And uh, in a second, I will start painting the guide on the right. Uh, he was much easier for me, I don't know why. I painted him much quicker. So it was fun. The biggest problem I, I had was the jacket. It was really uh, hard for me to paint. This material on the jacket was really difficult for me to do. Maybe it's because I needed to combine purple and green and this is really hard combination and uh, when he applied uh, paint is so specific that it, that it was really hard to replicate but overall I really liked how the entire painting turned out and now I'm just working more on this fabric on the table uh, and I didn't do those splashes of color in the background on this black I tried to do it but I think the problem was the kind of paint I was using I couldn't really imitate it so I just gave up and uh, left it uh, as it was um, but I think it looks uh, quite nice and I don't think I need to add anything more good enough for me, let's say. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching my uh, time lapse and I hope you learned something from it. Now I will just uh, take off this masking tape and it will be the end of this painting. So one more time, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.